Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's actually probably been a, a really good introduction back into the group with um, sort of not everyone coming in at the same time. I think that's um, after you've been out of the group for a little while, it sort of can be a little bit overwhelming. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to be back involved and um, can't wait to get back out there on the field. Yeah, well, I guess like we're all human the same as everybody else and we all have sort of similar concerns and similar worries. And um, I think, yeah, for us, it's like obviously with World Cups or big important series, it sort of adds an, another element to it. But I guess everyday people have similar sort of stresses as well with whether they can see family or or whatnot. But um, we're really confident as a playing group um, with all the work that's been put in behind the scenes um, with Cricket Australia and I guess the ECB as well as the ICC for the, the World Cup tournament as well. And all the protocols that have been put in place for us. And um, I guess the the main thing for us is, yeah, to obviously keep each and every person in, in our group as well as the wider community sort of as safe and as healthy as possible. And um, we just want to be able to do everything that we can to be able to, to I guess, go out there on the field and perform and, and do so to the best of our ability and um, whatever that involves um, us as sort of a playing group and um, the wider Cricket Australia group is sort of really committed to to doing that. Um, yeah, obviously it's sad um, missing both uh, Soph and Georgia, but I, I guess I don't really feel any extra expectation or pressure or weight on my shoulders. I've sort of looked as myself as trying to, to lead this spin group anytime I'm a part of it. And um, I guess, yeah, I've been fortunate enough to, to play for Australia for a number of years or be involved in the setup for a number of years that I try and just impart whatever experiences I've had with whoever um, the other spinners are. And um, yeah, I guess for, for me missing out on the last series with the, the injury and coming back in, it's sort of, um, yeah, you just want to make an impact re regardless. But yeah, I don't necessarily feel any extra um, weight or expectation, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, definitely. I think um, any sort of spinner that's in here um, and I guess with her being new into the squad as well it's um, it's a really exciting time for her and um, I know that not just myself but also Ash Gardner being the other member of our spin um, spin group that it's sort of yeah it's it's up to both of us to sort of impart whatever experiences we've had and um, we had a our first training session sort of yesterday and um, Kingy sort of took took to it like a duck to water. And um, I guess with her having Shell as our, our spin bowling coach as well, having that, I guess, that affiliation with the Scorchers, she sort of feels a little bit more at home. And she's one of those characters that's just uh, comfortable in her own skin and will always encourage her to, to make sure that she's true to herself and um, doesn't change anything, that uh, she's an exciting um, person to have around. Yeah, well, any series we sort of have against England is always a hardly fought one and um, I guess for, for both sides we're sort of coming off um, limited cricket from what we're used to I guess that um, yeah it's going to be very interesting to see how both sides go throughout this series and um, I'm quite confident that regardless of the preparation that everyone's had that it's going to be a really really close and really hard fought, hard fought series and I know that they've got um, the similar to us, they've got a good mix of experienced players as well as some young up and coming players coming through as well. Um, obviously, in their spin ranks, they've got the likes of Charlie Dean, who um, obviously played, made her debut in their last series. Um, and yeah, she sort of looks to be an exciting spin prospect for them. And um, yeah, it's sort of one of those things that um, the, the game's continuing to develop across the world. And, and hopefully, we can. Um, get a number of other countries sort of on the improve as well and um, continue to grow the game globally.